Cam Barber Camps Mortgage Minute on Tuesday, May the 7th. Hey, how many of you out there have heard of Clash of Clans? Put up your hand. Hey, well, if you're like me, up until about a month ago, I didn't know what the heck Clash of Clans was, but they made it into our home. Yes, my uh, young son, he's about nine years old, started playing this game. And at first, I'll tell you, I had my reservations. I thought, oh yeah, another game he's going to be playing on uh, the phone, the iPhone. Uh, another app, uh, he's going to be wasting his time uh, basically doing mindless stuff. But I have to admit, there, well, I've changed my mind about it. There has certainly been some valuable things he's gotten out of it. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, we don't certainly let our kids uh, spend hours and hours playing stuff on the phone or on the computer. I mean, we limit them pretty tight. But this is uh, the, a, a really interesting game, a lot different than the games I used to play when I was a kid. And uh, you know what? I was prejudiced by that because a lot of the stuff I used to play, well, quite honestly, it was mindless. And uh, this has actually been a really interesting process. I've watched over the last month where month and a half where he started playing this game and eventually now he's formed his own clan. And the idea behind this is, is that you uh, basically have a clan, you have up to 40 members in it. Your goal is to recruit people. Uh, you go and you try to raid uh, neighboring villages, na neighboring places. And uh, the idea is to you know, manage your resources well, your troops well, and everything else, and build in the rankings, and uh, get like-minded individuals to join your group, and as a group, and as a collective, you grow. So for him, he's learned a lot of leadership skills, which, uh, again, I didn't think you could learn in a game, but uh, just a number of them has been how to manage, uh, how to manage and work with others, uh, how to recruit people, how to discipline them when they go outside the boundaries. I mean, part of when he set up his clan is he had to make some rules that everybody had to live by. And then the challenge is how do you enforce those rules in a fair and just way? Uh, there's also how do you share resources? How do you manage your resources? Uh, in this game, you earn gold, you earn what's called elixir and those sorts of things, but you can't blow it all at once. You have to kind of really think through how you're gonna do it. And I've watched him over the last uh, you know, month or so uh, visit different uh, other clan sites to look at how they're doing it. He's done his, uh, basically, I guess if you think about it, his um, research to see how things are working, what somebody's doing right, what they're doing wrong. He's been looking for good ideas and trying to implement different things. Uh, I mean, he's learned a few things about friendship. When he started this, he had a couple of friends that wanted to be a part of it, and they were going to co-manage this client together and said, hey, they'd be there till the bitter end like the Three Musketeers. However, one of them just left a couple of days ago. So you'll learn uh, that, you know what, well, people may say a lot of things, but they don't necessarily always do them. So, well, I have to admit that it has uh, overall been an interesting experience. I mean, we've uh, shared lots of conversations. He's explained to me in depth all his strategies and all his thinking. And at a minimum, it's been uh, another opportunity for us to share something together. And if you're a parent out there, I, I guess all I would say to you is don't dismiss the stuff off the surface. Take a few minutes out. Check out what they're up to. You really want to see what kinds of games they're playing. And uh, basically, if you can engage in it at the same time, it's a great opportunity for you to both come together on something. And uh, you know what? If you don't sell it short, because it may be something that they're getting a lot out of and a lot different than the way you might remember or the way you might have done it. And uh, you know what? We look, we've looked at it so far as an opportunity to share some life experiences when something happens, like the friendship thing, you know, gave us a great opportunity to talk about friendship and how, you know, they can be fickle and how friends aren't always for life. Uh, different things about managing your resources, being a good steward of things. It's, again, a great opportunity if you can uh, work with them, share it with them, and you guys can have some fun together on it. Anyway, I just thought I'd, uh, I'd throw it out there. We're always talking about mortgages. We're always talking about these other things, but there's a whole bunch of life that goes on all around us. And uh, if you do get a chance or if your kids are into that sort of thing, check it out. You might find it pretty interesting. From what I hear, they're not all just kids that play this. There's a lot of adults that play this too. Anyway, it's been Cam for Cam's Mortgage Minute. I will see you tomorrow.